Hey guys, Ultimate Toy Collector here at the Mezco booth. I'm here with Pierre. Um, always a pleasure. Good to see you. Um, you know, I love Mezco. I love all the amazing stuff that they do. So I had to stop by here and take a look. Pierre's going to walk us and show us around uh, at all the new stuff. You guys may have seen some of it, but I might not have or you might not have. So Pierre, if you can, just uh, give us a breakdown of what we got here. Absolutely. Uh, first, thanks for coming. It's always good to see you. Um, up here, uh, we've got Mortal Kombat, so uh, what you're seeing here is, uh, on the middle shelf is Series 1 6-inch, Series 2 6-inch, uh, which are coming out in the next couple weeks, I believe they're starting to ship. We're also showing the two 12-inch figures for Scorpion and Sub-Zero, which are going to come out later this year. Uh, the shelf below that is Series 1 4-inch, uh, coming out, I think, first quarter next year, as well as some bobbleheads, which I think are already out, and the plush and mezzets. Um, Mortal uh, I mean, Mortal Kombat's an awesome license. We're really excited to be working on it. Um, we're fans of the character designs more than anything. I mean, we've got a couple of gamers in the office, but they're such cool-looking characters that uh, it's a joy to be working on them, honestly. Um, and we get to play with articulation, which we don't always get to do in the office. Sometimes we're doing stuff like uh, Breaking Bad, which doesn't need 20 points of articulation. But uh, for Mortal Kombat, it was necessary, so we got it in there. Uh, and I think the, the figures turned out really nicely. Uh, next up down here, we've got the continuation of, the, of our 112 line. Um, so 112 Collective, uh, which I mentioned at Toy Fair when I saw you last, is uh, basically our attempt to do uh, Toy Fair, uh, Toy Fair, uh, Hot Toys style figures at half the price and half the scale. So instead of 12 inch, we're doing 6 inch. Uh, we've got just as much artic articulation, real cloth clothing, a bunch of accessories, alternate heads and hands. Uh, we started last year with our Dark Knight Batman, which sold really well. Uh, we followed that up with a two-pack at San Diego, which had a battle-damaged Batman and a mutant leader. We're going to be releasing the mutant leader individually later this year. He will come with uh, alternate heads, uh, more accessories, and alternate hands, which he did not have in the San Diego two-pack. Um, we also got Judge Dredd coming. Uh, we've got the black and white version here at the show for one of our exclusives. We've also got um, the regular retail version, which is the black one. Um, and then we've also got, uh, through Diamond, through Previews, they've got their own exclusive, which is a lighter blue classic version. Comes with a poncho, comes with a rifle, and also with a different pistol. Um, we're also doing uh, the Lawmaster, which will have lights and sound, so the headlights will light up. There's a, uh, spotlight, a spotlight on top, brake lights, it'll have engine sounds, cannon sounds, grenade launcher sounds. It's, uh, it's a very impressive uh, vehicle, I have to say myself. Um, so we're actually doing uh, four different versions, I believe. We're doing blue uh, with the blue Judge Dredd, black and white for the black and white Judge Dredd. Uh, Diamond is going to have a version for their Judge Dredd figure, and then also be a black version to go with the regular retail black uh, Judge Dredd figure. We've also got uh, more 112 figures, which we had on display at uh, San Diego. Um, Superman, uh, Flash, Space Ghost, and Frankenstein. So for our DC, actually for the the DCU branch of what we're doing um, it's basically going to be our take on the DC characters. What you're seeing is it's still obviously Superman, it's still obviously Flash, but we're taking our own kind of design cues, like it's, you know the boots are slightly different, there's a, a little flair to some of the design um, just to set us apart from some of the other companies that are already doing uh, DC. Um, and of course Space Ghost not uh, DC character, but still a Warner Brothers character, uh, based on the classic 60's cartoon. Uh, along with Blip and uh, Frankenstein of Universal Monsters. We're big Universal Monsters fans in the office, so I, uh, I'm i going to guess we have more characters from Universal Monsters coming in the future. What you're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg here for 112. Uh, we've got a bunch of licenses we haven't announced. Uh, we've got at least 18 figures in, in development right now, so the future is going to be big for 112, and we're, we're excited to see where it goes. All right, so what you're seeing over here is kind of a, a hodgepodge of different licenses. We've got our Two for Tall Bugs Bunny, which is going to come out, uh, I believe, early next year. It's going to be rotocast, and it will be articulated, though not super articulated. Uh, as you see, it's got a ball-jointed, this is a prototype, but it's going to have ball-jointed neck, ball-jointed shoulders, uh, twist ankles at the hips, wrists, and uh, ankles, I believe. Um, next to that, you've got uh, the continuation of Thundercats, uh, the long-awaited release of Tigra, who is the last of the, uh, at least the last of the adult core members of the team. Uh, we did Lion-O, Panthro, Chitara, and Mumra. Um, 
So now that we're getting Tiger out, we're getting to the end of Thundercats, I think. We'd like to do Wily Kid and Wily Cat. I'd like to do Gruen and Slythe. I don't know if we will get to that, but at least we can say we got the core team done. Um, he'll retail for somewhere around $40, depending on where you're getting him, um, which I think is a pretty good deal for articulation uh, and size like that. Uh, the shelf below that, you're seeing uh, Mezzets. So we've been doing Mezzets for three or four years now, something like that. Uh, DC has been a great brand to work on for Mezzets because uh, we can crank out a bunch of different cool characters. Um, so within the space of, you know, a, a couple of years, we've gotten a couple dozen characters out, which is, I think makes for a pretty cool collection. Uh, the new thing you're seeing in here that I don't think we had uh, previously was the, uh, is the Michael Keaton Batman and Batmobile, based, of course, on the Tim Burton movies. Uh, so the top can come off that Batmobile and he can get inside, just like with the Tumblr and uh, 66 Batmobile, Batmobile we did previously. Uh, as we move up the cases here, we've got uh, Chucky from Child's Play. Uh, a couple of our items have taken a tumble here, so I apologize for that. Um, we've got a 15-inch talking Chucky. Um, we've got a 5-inch Chucky action figure, basically. So it's not very much articulation, but uh, less stylized than the stylized versions, which is what you're seeing on the shelf below that. Um, stylized good guy Chucky and then stylized just straight-out evil Chucky, as well as some Chucky mezzets. Um, Child's Play as a brand has been great. It's one of those things that, uh, you know, every Halloween we get demand for. So uh, it's just kind of cool to be working on a license that, that has that kind of demand where people just want more and more of it. It's just, uh, it's a cool thing to be involved with. Uh, next up we've got uh, LDD, uh, Living Dead Dolls. The top shelf is Series 30, which is going to be shipping uh, this fall. The shelf below that is LDD Oz, which is our take on uh, the Wizard of Oz tale, uh, using, of course, some of the classic LDD characters. And then uh, the shelf below that is a three-pack of flying monkeys from the Oz tale, as well as the creatures from the Black Lagoon. Um, next up here, you're seeing... Uh, a two-foot-tall Gigantor, which will be roto and will be articulated. Um, it was one of those deals that came along for our president that he just he, he couldn't pass up. It was just the, the opportunity to make a giant robot uh, was too much fun. So you're seeing the regular colored version. There's also a black and white version. And there's a third version, which we don't have on display here, which is kind of a muted colored version. So instead of a vibrant blue, it's more of a faded blue color. Um, but I, I can't... It, the nice thing about this for me is I believe it's close to scale for uh, four-inch figures. So if you like G.I. Joe, you can have uh, Gigantor stomp your G.I. Joe, so it's just kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so finally, uh, this is our case of exclusives, which we have here at the show. 12-inch uh, Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. We've got a Saul figure, uh, Deco variant. On this one, the suit color is different. Uh, we also got a two-pack. We had a San Diego with Mutant Leader and uh, Battle Damage Batman for the 112 line. And then uh, next to that is the black and white Judge Dredd, which is the, the first release of the Judge Dredd character under 112. Um, we also got some Mortal Kombat exclusives, the um, Ice Clone Sub-Zero, which we had at San Diego, and the black and gold Scorpion, which were exclusive to New York Comic Con. And then, of course, the uh, Poison Ivy Mezzet uh, keychain. So that's what we got for New York Comic Con. Uh, thanks a lot for coming by. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. It's uh, always good to see you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us at Mezco. I uh, hope you're enjoying New York Comic Con. Check us out. YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Ultimate Toy Collector. And uh, we'll show you a bunch of other stuff. Hang in there.